We never get tired of Japanese castles. They have such elegance that you wouldn't expect in something built for defense. Nagahama Castle in particular has something very different from other castles. Or rather, it's what it doesn't have. Walking around it, you won't be able to find a gate, towers or even walls. But in this mural, you can see that it was built with all of these and even had a moat back then. So where are they now? The castle was built in 1575 by one of the most famous samurai in Japanese history, Lord Toyotomi Hideyoshi. If you've watched the FX series Shogun, you've seen him before as the Taiko, the dying ruler in the second episode. A couple of decades later in 1615, his successor Tokugawa Ieyasu, known as Lord Toranaga on the show, wanted to reduce the power of the lords under him, so he mandated one castle per province. Poor Nagahama Castle was destroyed. Its main gate was reused for Daitsuji Temple, where it still stands today, and other parts of the castle were used to build the famous Hikone Castle, which we'll be visiting later on in this channel. Fortunately for us, Nagahama Castle's keep was rebuilt in 1983 as a museum. It's an elegant symbol of Nagahama's heritage, especially beautiful when seen in the warm glow of the setting sun. Nagahama today still retains that old castle town feel. Many of the houses on the historic streets already look centuries old, but it's when it starts to snow, that's when the magic really begins. We had come to Nagahama looking for peace and quiet. These we found in its old shrines and temples, some of which had been around since the days of Toyotomi Hideyoshi. We felt such calm amongst these ancient structures, while walking slowly through the pure white blanket of snow on the ground.
One thing we love about quieter towns like Nagahama is the warmth and sincerity of the people living there. We could even feel this in the food they served, which was simple and yet comforting. Nagahama felt like a place that welcomes you to slow down and appreciate the simpler things in life. While we initially faced heavy snow when we arrived, the warmth and hospitality of the locals got us back on our feet and we were rewarded with the charm of the town in winter. There are so many more lovely parts of Nagahama we wish we could show you, so we'll leave you with just a small taste of this wonderful place.